Good morning everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 23! <laughs> as yesterday I didn't sleep all that well it's very broken sleep and I'm still a bit snotty but I'm dosed up I've got like I never drink a coke and I'm craving a coke with ice so <laughs> I'm hoping that's gonna do something and I'm all wrapped up this jumper's from Zara actually this was one of the things that I ordered I love it I do think it's very big and baggy, but I think that's what I need right now. I'm just about to start editing yesterday's vlog and I also have a video to edit of me and Joe later, so hopefully I'll get a bit of time to do that. And then we have to do lots and lots of Christmas preparation. We need to go and do the food shop, um, which I'm actually quite excited to do. I really hope <laughs> that everything we need is there. I'm assuming, um, that we will have no trouble there but yeah I'm really excited to do that I'm gonna make up the Christmas Eve boxes which I'm really excited to do and we've got some presents to wrap and then I ordered a couple of bits from Topshop so I'll put top <laughs> I ordered a couple of bits from Topshop so I'll probably uh, open those with you guys as well and yeah uh, I'm not gonna like push myself too much today but there is a lot to do which I'm really aware of but you know I feel like most things are done like I need to make up the Christmas table which I really don't think will take me that long and then tomorrow it's Christmas Eve and we're spending most of the day at Amanda and Nick's which I'm really excited about that's the plan for this morning we also need to do a tip run because we have the piano boxes which are fairly large <laughs> taking up a lot of room in the pantry so we need to sort that out yeah all good just finished editing my vlog and it was only 14 minutes long. I don't remember the last time I uploaded a vlog that was 14 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry if any of you wanted it to be longer, but honestly, the fact that I even filmed anything yesterday evening, I was gonna open my Topshop order, but I just fell straight to sleep and was basically like sleeping in a puddle of my own sweat. <laughs> which is probably TMI but that is how it happened so yeah for any of you that really like the vlogs being long I'm sorry that that one wasn't as long I mean it still had some nice bits in though so I still really really liked it and I guess for those of you that hate that my vlogs are so long you probably really enjoyed yesterday's vlog <laughs> I need to somehow find like a happy medium like somewhere in the middle maybe like 20 minutes max I'm watching Nigella's Christmas table what's it called Nigella's Christmas table Nigella's Christmas table, yeah. Very festive, I love a bit of Nigella. These are the Christmas Eve boxes that we bought from Paper Chase. They've just got like green, green foliage on. Um, so I'm gonna make these up now because they're all flat packed. So if any of you saw my DIY Christmas God, I can't remember what I called it. DIY Christmas bits and pieces. <laughs> then you will have seen me doing some of the Christmas Eve boxes, or I did one Christmas Eve box as an example. And that's what I'm doing here. So I've got three for the boys, Sean, Nick and Alfie, and then three for me, Poppy and Amanda. Obviously it's not gonna have all of the things that I put in the Christmas Eve box, because I feel like that was more like universal. Whereas I think because we're all adults, it can be slightly different. But I have some of the bits here that I am putting in. These are the shoes that I bought from the garden center that you may remember, which I'm sure, oh, I've just noticed this one has a bell missing. I think these ones are mine. Oh no, they're not. Oh, sorry, whoever has a bell missing. I think we probably won't wear these all day because it will irritate everybody. Won't it, Nala Bear? <laughs> um, those ones are mine. I've got the slippers. I've got these for our pajamas. Well, you can't really, oh, I've kind of messed those up. 
These are from ASOS. They're the Chelsea Piers pyjamas. They're like this navy with a lovely rose gold foil with gingerbread men, stars and Christmas trees. So I've got those for the girls and Alfie's bought the boys pyjamas. And then I bought the boys these face masks. Barber Pro Foaming Cleansing Mask. Bubbling Cleansing Mask with Activated Charcoal. And then I bought the girls these, which I thought was so cool. Star Skin Revamping Melt Away Lace Eye Masks. I just thought they looked really cool. So we've got those. And then, I mean, there seems to be a lot of chocolate. I feel like Christmas is a time where chocolate is quite... <laughs> heavy but I think I went a bit overboard on the chocolate actually. I got these from Harvey Nicks. These are the Compate Chocolatier Chocolates. They have some really cool flavours. So this one is Cereal Bowl. White chocolate, marshmallows, cornflakes and cereal. And then this one is Biscuits and Honey. Dark chocolate, biscuits and honey. Cookies and cream. Dark and white chocolate cookies. The packaging is so pretty of these chocolates. Pina Colada. Milk chocolate, pineapple, cocoa coconut and rum and then the last one is dark chocolate and pretzels california love oh so i need to work out who is gonna want which chocolate bar because there are some people who prefer dark chocolate over milk chocolate etc etc so we'll see but i'm gonna at least start putting the girls ones in now i think oh and then i feel like christmas isn't christmas without a selection pack. I don't know whether to put these in the stockings or in the Christmas Eve boxes, but I bought these ones for like the children, <laughs> the children, the younger ones. And then for Nick and Amanda, I bought these because these looked so cool. Look, they're selection boxes, but they're all like the classic chocolate bars and with all the classic packaging. I just thought they were so cool. I don't know if they'll fit in the, oh, they might. They might fit in the pack. I think everyone needs a selection box and also chocolate coins, but I'm gonna put these in the stockings. Oh, and then definitely went overboard on the chocolate. It's a good job we don't have to eat all of this at Christmas. I mean, some people will, but I'll probably save some. Um, some like retro looking Santa chocolate lollipops. So I'm just gonna pop one of those each in the stocking as well. Box number one. Which one would Poppy like? I think Poppy will like dark chocolate and pretzel, so I'm gonna pop that in there. And I'm gonna pop this in there as well. And I'm also gonna put a bath bomb in there as well. Oh, face mask. There we go. Right, that's everything I have for now. So that's Poppy's box. I should probably put labels on them so I don't forget whose is whose. Now this is the fun bit where I get to pick my own chocolate. I'm gonna go for the cereal bowl. I think that sounds very fun. I also think Sean would like the cereal bowl. Okay, now who's gonna want what? I think... Alfie, what do you like the sound of most? Dark chocolate and pretzels. White chocolate, marshmallows, cornflakes and cereal. Milk, chocolate, pineapple, coconut and rum, pina colada, or cookies and cream, dark and white chocolate cookies? Cookies and cream? That's Alfie sorted. Maybe Nick would want pina colada, and Sean will want cereal bowl. I'm now gonna distribute these into the stockings. Whilst I wait for Alfie to finish his edit, I have put the Grinch on and I'm gonna have a little look through the Radio Times. When I was younger, I used to highlight all the programs that I really wanted to watch. Me and Joe would sit down and flick through and make a note of everything. Now I'm older and I have Sky, I'm gonna look in here, find something that 
I want to watch and then I'm gonna hit it to record on here. <laughs> oh how being an adult changes things and also just having Sky. When we were younger we recorded things from the TV onto DVD or VHS before that but you had to be very selective and you could only do that with like one thing that's on TV at one time. So yeah anything I see in here I'm gonna set it to record on TV because as I was saying I don't really... Oh! Oh my god, I loved this programme. This was delicious. Oh, I love that. Dawn French. Oh, I just love Dawn French so much. She is so amazing. I'm gonna have a little flick through this and I'm very excited. Films today. I so wish we could just sit in and just watch films all day. But look, Harry Potter, which I think is on now. And what else did I just see? Frozen. Hunger Games Catching Fire, yes. Would so watch that, Despicable Me, yes. Yeah, already some great things on today. <laughs> Christmas Eve, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Love it, Bugsy Malone, oh my God, the Santa Claus, the Borrowers, Scrooge. Oh, there's more, the Muppets Christmas Carol. So I have actually resisted watching this because I'm saving it for Christmas Eve. I'm actually saving it to watch it here because it is honestly one of my absolute favorite Christmas films and it's the only one I save for Christmas Eve and that's the only time I'll watch it, which makes it, I think, that little bit more special. Serendipity, oh my God, great film. I actually made Mark watch that recently and he loved it. So many, <gasps> Christmas Day. Okay, let's see what films we have on on Christmas Day. The B Movie, amazing. Scrooge, amazing. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Tarn, our film is on. That is not a Christmassy film, I wonder why they've put that on there. <laughs> Toy Story 3. I feel like there's always a Toy Story on at Christmas. Harry Potter. Oliver. Okay, great. They put Oliver on last year because I think I remember watching it. Um, Home Alone. Amazing. Cinderella. Amazing. Miracle on 34th Street. Yes. The Holiday. Ah. Oh. Santa Claus. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, there's loads of great things. Boxing Day. This is the one day where literally all we do is sit down and watch films on the TV and eat all the leftover food. I think Boxing Day is probably Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day collectively are definitely three of my favourite days of the year. Christmas Eve, I think, is full of excitement. Christmas Day, I love Christmas Day, but I do think I prefer Christmas Eve to Christmas Day just because you have the excitement and then actually on Christmas Day you're like... Oh, it's over. Like there's like a, there's a big part of you that's quite sad that this is it now. And then Boxing Day, I love Boxing Day. It was always the day where you would play with your toys, get everything out, eat the leftover food. But I just feel like it's such a chilled day because it's like everything that you've been preparing for Christmas Day is all done, and now you you can kind of relax. I think I'm a big fan of Boxing Day. So anything that's on on Boxing Day, I'll be oh my god. Okay, they definitely ramped the films up for Boxing Day. There's so many. Shaun the Sheep movie, Paddington, E.T., Mary Poppins, The Little Mermaid. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Back to the Future, Dirty Dancing, Four Weddings and a Funeral, Sherlock Holmes. Oh, there's so many. Titanic. Yeah, okay, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> there's quite a few things I want to record, so <laughs> I'm going to have to... Oh, I've heard quite a lot about this, actually. Um, the Miniaturist, which is a drama, every shot of this handsome adaptation of Jesse Burton's bestseller looks like the work of a Dutch old master with its flickering candles and houses full of shadows. I've heard that this is meant to be really good, so I'm definitely going to record that. Also not forgetting the Christmas special of Call the Midwife. Also just noticed this, The Great Christmas Bake Off. Yes. How many things can you record at one time on Sky? Because <laughs> I think... I've got a lot that I want to record. Okay, I'm now going to write up the list of everything we need from the supermarket. So I cannot leave anything out. Okay, where to start? list is done. I think we're good. 
Now to brave the supermarket. One thing that did arrive in the P.O. box that I thought I would show before we put this cardboard box to the tip or the recycling. We always call it the tip, but people might not know what we mean. Is this little box for Percy. Nala always gets sent so many gifts in the P.O. box. Look at that. He's actually going to love it. Oh my God, what is this? A piggy weightlifter vegetable kebab maker. Oh my God, it's like a circus range. That is so cute. What's this? Oh, a KV cannonball. This is so cool. And then we have, oh, this is the food we buy him. Amazing. Who's this from? Oh, it's from Burgess. We saw your recent vlog, we're over the moon that you like our guinea pig food. We thought we'd send your piggies some treats for Christmas. We'd love to work with you in the future to improve awareness for guinea pig welfare. Cute, thank you so much, Burgess. Percy is going to love all this stuff. We've opened a lot of these doors, but we haven't given her all the treats because it's quite, it's quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> um, but I have just opened, which is the one I just opened? Ah, this one. There we go. Sit, sit, good girl. There you go. Aww, I've really enjoyed giving her this little treats calendar. Haven't I? And you've really enjoyed it. Guys, I've just realized I look like sadness from inside out today. Like, the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> we are now at the tip. Alfie's emptying the car. What a love. I would normally help, but I feel so rough. I just said to Alfie, I think we might need to buy a thermometer because I'm hot in places. I'm not normally hot. Like, behind my ears is, like, burning. And this whole journey, I had to have the window wide open just because I'm so, so hot. Like, I'm sweating. I should probably take this jumper off, but... I don't have anything on underneath it, so I can't be doing that. You okay back there? You can't hear me. <laughs> right, we need a trolley. Oh, do you want to get one from down there? Okay. Well, this is what I didn't want to happen. Brussels sprouts. Oh, God. None. No Brussels sprouts. Okay. Okay, what, we're, we're already been defeated. Where's the parsnips? I don't think there's any parsnips either, Alf. No parsnips, no figs, no Brussels sprouts. Your M&S list is getting a bit long. Do you know I'm going to my woodland next year? Parsnips and sprouts. I bloody knew we left it too late for sprouts. I just knew it. Happy's <laughs> like, who even likes sprouts? They are a very festive vegetable though. There are no sprouts, but I don't know about parsnips. Shop is done. Um, there, there are a few bits that we couldn't get, which I've circled, um, but Alfie's heading into town, so I'm going to have to give you this list, and you're going to have to oh, see if you can... Oh, there's not much on there, though. No, I'm there's like five things. And we're done. Oh, look. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh. Just edit out the trolley. <laughs> I've just realised, as people are watching this, it's Christmas Eve. Because it's Christmas Eve Eve. Like the evening as well, Christmas Eve. Oh, I like really hope you're all having day. like the best day so far and that you're all going to have the best evening. Because Christmas Eve really is oh, That's the, the most exciting day. I was saying yeah, that like earlier. Christmas Eve's the one. Play with all the toys and stuff you get. That's what I said. Gadgets. Except no one gets toys now as adults, I apart think. from you, yeah. To be fair, every I have, present, every I have present bought, bought some people. toys. Do you know what though? I would actually the be piano so. Piano counts as a toy. Yeah, technically, but I would That's actually be instrument. so happy if I got um, like Lego or something for Christmas because I love building Lego because that's something that you would do on Boxing Day. You'd sit and build the Lego. Christmas Lego. And do you know why I think I like it? Because it's a bit like a puzzle. When you're doing it, you're not thinking about anything else. I think quite a lot of adults like Lego, you know? Yeah, there's the architectural Lego that's really popular. Yeah, I don't know if I want it to be that advanced. <laughs> I do feel like the Lego has to be a little bit challenging though. However, when I bought Darcy that frozen, no, it was a little mermaid Lego, I really enjoyed building that with her. And that wasn't hard. <laughs> yes, Christmas tunes. Alfie
Alfie keeps trying to change the Christmas tunes over to something else and I'm like, there's just two more days of Christmas tunes no, what it and is, then we're done for the year. I'm happy with Christmas tunes from our phone, but when you have on your Christmas radio Magic thing, FM, Magic Xmas. I don't know any of them. They're all like really weird old ones. No, they do have some to. they do have some great ones, but every time we seem to turn the radio on it's a really random one. So yeah, Alfie's always I'm like, like what I don't is know this? this. It's singing like the most random stuff. But you know this one? Oh, of course. editing my Christmas Eve video with Joe. That took me a while because I had to put in all the bits we were talking about. So I had to try and find them and then make them sync up. Oh, it's very dark. Ah, ah, there we go. I am starting to feel all kinds of shivery again. And that is one thing I always find with like flu virus or cold virus or any kind of virus. Why is it always worse in the evenings? And the mornings is it because that's when you're tired so therefore your body is not fighting it as much i've just never i don't know i've never thought about it but it, i feel like it is so true so i'm under a blanket <laughs> see i was boiling hot earlier and now i'm freezing cold i've got the fire on i'm under a blanket and i've got nala lying next to me she's like my personal hot water bottle and my laptop's really warm on my on my um lap my laptop oh that's why it's called a laptop. <laughs> I knew that. Ooh, I need to wrap some presents. And Alfie's actually in town, so do I wrap some of Alfie's last presents now? Or wrap the piano? I feel like I can wrap the piano tomorrow. But I probably should wrap the one last present that Alfie doesn't know about. Um, before he gets back. Alfie hopefully has found some sprouts in town. Isn't that so funny? Alfie's so right. Like, no one really likes sprouts unless it's Christmas. I guess it's not a Christmas dinner if there's no sprouts, technically. I just want to take this opportunity to, because I know that tomorrow I'll be like rushing around and I feel like my Christmas Eve vlogs are always very like, oh my God, I, need, I forgot to vlog, oh my God, because it's just a busy day. So I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much um, to everyone who has been enjoying Vlogmas, commenting, hitting thumbs up, subscribing, and just generally, it makes me really, really happy that so many of you have enjoyed it or that it's brought joy to your day or made you feel festive in some way. And I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas or whatever it is that you celebrate at this time of year. I am aware that not everybody celebrates Christmas, so happy holidays. And I also just want to say a huge Merry Christmas to everybody working in retail at Christmas time and the public services like the fire brigade and the nhs and everyone whose job it is to make sure everyone is safe and well during christmas time because those people are obviously very special and work so many hours just to um, keep other people safe and well so um, a massive massive shout out to those people and i hope that you have a festive day whether that is on Christmas Day or whether that is another day that you manage to find time to sit down with your friends and family. Not gonna lie, I fell asleep on the sofa, <laughs> sweated through my jeans and now I've come up to bed but I didn't want to forget doing the Topshop, opening the Topshop package because I mean it's very exciting. <laughs> okay I love this. First thing is this Whitney Houston t-shirt which I'm obsessed with. Is this hard again? Yes. Chunky knit cardi. I feel like you can never have too many of these and this one looked really nice and it has these big chunky bobbles on the sleeves. I love it. 
this looks a little bit summery <laughs> i think it's a play suit um i thought maybe i could wear this with tights but it's very thin i really like the pattern on it though might have to save that for warmer times oh it's a hoodie oh that is really nice and soft oh my goodness um i just wanted more hoodies to wear underneath coats and to tuck into trousers or oh, you'll have to excuse i have <laughs> I have a christmas carol on in the background um yeah so i've just bought a couple more like hoodies for extra warmth and layering ah oh, the green crop jumper I like that. It's like a very chunky knit, dark kind of foresty green. Oh, I wanted more. <clears throat> I wanted more turtleneck t-shirts, especially long sleeved ones. That's a very long sleeve. <laughs> um, so I got this nice stripy one. Yeah, this one's in like a pinky nude. This one feels a little bit thinner. This is another Baker Boy hat. This is a velvet one because I wear my other one a lot. So I thought I would just try another style. It's not really another style, another another material. We have some jeans. What fit are these? These are Jamie jeans and they've got like rips on them. I don't really wear jeans that are this color too much. So I thought I would buy some and it might stop me from just going straight to black ones. These are high waist ankle grazers. Jamie jeans feel a little bit thicker than the ones I normally wear, which are Joni jeans. They're kind of more leggingy. Oh, I love this. This is a skirt. It's got like a paper bag waist um, with a little, is that a drawstring? Mm. No, it's just a little bow. Um, but it's this really lovely material and it's really soft actually. Um, I thought that would be nice with tights. I loved the look of these so much. I bought them in a size too long. So I'm definitely going to have to roll these up, I think. These are Jamie jeans again and they're black but they have like diamantes over the whole thing. They actually look so so cool on the camera if i was a person that went on nights out you bet i would wear these because when the light catches them they look so cool oh another turtleneck but this is in a dark forest green not that you can tell in this lighting this was a cute t-shirt it's just short sleeve and striped and it just has um embroidery on the booby and it says we how cute. I like the style of it. It's very like loose. Oh, I think this is another hoodie, but in a khaki. Yeah. It's just a plain khaki. Again, very soft. I'm loving how soft their hoodies are. Now this one, I'm not sure is gonna suit me. <laughs> it's a long line cardigan, which I love the idea of, but I guess you couldn't wear it on a very cold day because you definitely can't wear a jacket over this unless you have a long line jacket. Um, but it's in these lovely like navy blue, blue and gray block colors. And it has like balloon sleeves and pockets i don't know it looked really nice on the model on the website i can't even tell you how much i'm loving the fact that topshop now have models wearing the clothes on the website it makes me so happy because i'm definitely an online shopper where i need to see it on or like on someone or like put into an outfit in order to buy it which is why i love um going on to zara and asos because they always have people wearing their stuff so it just makes it so much easier um, but yeah, I love the idea of this. It looked really cool on the model. It's just one of those things I think I need to try on. <laughs> and that is everything that I picked up from Topshop. So I hope you enjoyed that little mini haul. And I'm going to go to sleep now. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be feeling a lot better in the morning. That's what I just keep telling myself. I'll feel better tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas, which is Christmas Eve. I can't believe it. I'm actually quite sad that it's nearly over.
Good night, guys. See you tomorrow.